5 Easy Signs That Tell You She Wants To Have Sex With You, Now If a man learns to understand these hints, he won't need to complain about his woman not initiating sex anymore because he'll have all the information he needs. One might assume that a couple, after being together for a while, would be attuned to each other's feelings and moods. However, this is not always the case, as many men still report uncertainty about when their partners want sex. Women are less likely than men to explicitly initiate sex, but they compensate by mastering the art of giving subtle hints. If a man learns to recognize these signals, he won't need to complain about his partner not initiating sex because he'll be able to read her cues. Here are five major signs she is turned on and wants sex. She dresses in something special. If your partner, who typically dresses casually at home, suddenly greets you one day looking dressed up, it could be a signal. This doesn't necessarily mean she's wearing lingerie, though she might be, but if you notice subtle changes like her letting her hair down, wearing a nicer dress instead of pajamas, applying a bit of makeup, or using perfume, it's likely her way of catching your attention and indicating she desires affection from you. You could inquire about the change, and she might brush it off to avoid appearing too direct in asking for intimacy. Don't dismiss this gesture. Take action. She touches you, intimately. She might not initiate intimacy every time she's aroused, but women often express their arousal through subtle touches. She might touch you more frequently than usual, and perhaps even explore areas like your inner thighs or neck with greater boldness. She does something nice. In a relationship, your partner won't always be in the mood to indulge in all your favorite activities, so it's important to notice when she does. For instance, coming home to find she's prepared your favorite meal, bought your preferred brand of wine, or set up a warm bath can be significant. If these gestures are not part of her regular routine, it's likely her way of indicating she's looking for some extra special attention tonight. She reminds you how long it's been. A clear sign that she's thinking about intimacy is when she casually mentions, at any point in a conversation, how long it's been since you last had sex. Women typically don't bring this up casually, it's often a way to steer the conversation towards what she desires from you. Her hips. You need to be quite observant to pick up on this, but when a woman is feeling sexually inclined, there's often a subtle sway to her hips. Men often overlook this because they're so accustomed to their partners that they may not notice these cues anymore. However, one of the oldest and most effective ways women grab men's attention is through this hip sway. It almost always catches men's eyes. Sometimes, she might not even realize she's doing it, but her body naturally moves in a sensual manner when she's aroused. So, if you see your partner walking past with a noticeable sway in her hips and buttocks, instead of scolding her for blocking the TV, seize the moment and give her the passionate intimacy she desires. Having too much sex, does the body have any effect? At present, there isn't a specific number that defines the ideal frequency of intercourse. However, if you're experiencing symptoms like physiological dysfunction, exhaustion, or pain during sex, it may indicate that you're having sex too frequently. It's important to adjust the frequency of sexual activity in such cases. 1. How does too much sex affect women's health? When does sexual activity become excessive? It's when it starts interfering with your thoughts and negatively impacts your work and personal life. Engaging in excessive sex can lead to vaginal dryness, which occurs when there is insufficient vaginal lubrication after frequent intercourse. This dryness can make penetration painful and hinder orgasm. Therefore, if you experience pain during sex, it's advisable to take a break to allow the vagina to rest. This helps prevent issues such as swelling, pain, vaginal tearing, and potential long-term complications like vaginitis and other gynecological conditions. Moreover, excessive sexual activity, especially when combined with inadequate hygiene practices before and after sex, can disrupt the natural pH balance of the vagina. 
This disruption increases the risk of developing gynecological diseases. Thus, maintaining proper hygiene practices is essential to support vaginal health. 2. What are the effects of having too much sex on men's health? Men are typically in the active role in most relationships, which can lead to significant physical exertion. This constant activity requires increased heart rate and continuous muscle movement. Therefore, excessive sexual activity can result in exhaustion and fatigue, and over the long term, it may affect cardiovascular health, kidney function, and lead to conditions such as erectile dysfunction, premature ejaculation, orchitis, prostatitis, and various other diseases. Furthermore, frequent sexual intercourse can contribute to a decrease in sexual desire over time. This can lead to diminishing satisfaction in future encounters and, if prolonged, may diminish mutual attractiveness, gradually leading to indifference and apathy towards sex in the relationship. 3. How much sex is enough? The optimal frequency of sexual intercourse offers numerous health benefits and strengthens the bond between partners. Currently, there is no exact number for how often couples should have sex, as it varies depending on factors such as age and individual health status. However, general guidelines suggest. For individuals aged 20 to 25 years, approximately three times per week. For individuals aged 30 to 50 years, around two times per week. For individuals over 50 years, typically once a week, some may no longer feel the need for sex. However, there are circumstances where abstaining from sex is advisable to protect one's health until resuming gradually with a stable frequency. Such situations include Individuals who are ill or have weakened health People managing conditions like high blood pressure or cardiovascular diseases Those recovering from surgery to prevent sexually transmitted diseases and other infections associated with excessive sexual activity, it is essential to use condoms or other contraception methods during intercourse. For more health, nutrition, and beauty information, visit the Vinmec International General Hospital website to safeguard your well-being and that of your loved ones. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comments section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.